What's up everyone? Today we're going to be doing Hacker vs. Hacker on TryHackMe. We'll be doing some web exploitation as well as some Linux privilege escalation. And so let's get into it. Alright guys, I got TryHackMe pulled up here. Got the Hacker vs. Hacker. If someone has compromised the server already, can you get in and evade their countermeasures? Maybe. Got our machine started. The server of this recruitment company appears to have been hacked and the hacker has defeated all attempts by the admins to fix the machine. They can't shut it down. They'd lose SEO, so maybe you can help. So we're just looking for the user.txt flag and the proof.txt flag. So machine started. Let's go ahead and get going. We'll start with the nmap scan. Copy this. Alright, nmap scan is back. We've got SSH on port 22 and Apache HTTP on port 80. So let's go check out that server. Alright, it says recruit sec. Looks like they're a recruiting company. Stop coding security vulnerabilities. Hire the best security consultants in the industry. Um, let's go see where this takes us and takes us over here uh, I want to join our stable body of shop professionals please upload your CV below and we will get back to you if we think your skills might earn us a profit for doing nothing beyond sending a few emails um, so we'll just click upload CV and it takes us over to the upload.php page and it says hacked if you don't want me to upload my shell do better at filtering so it sounds like the hacker has already exploited this upload vulnerability and uploaded a shell. So we can view page source. Oh, we got some PHP stuff here. It looks like the target directory um, for the uh, file upload will be CVS. And then right here it says if the string does not include the .pdf file extension then do not allow it so we can exit out of that so we're gonna try and find the shell the attacker already uploaded so we probably did something like dot pdf dot php using a double file extension so pdf is there included and so it satisf satisfies the filter but then we got a dot php in there so it's read as a php file so we can use GoBuster for that. And we'll use GoBuster, don't display the errors. Um, URL is our IP address with the directory we're looking in. And thread 64, the word list, common.txt. And the extension we'll be looking for is .pdf.php. You can start that. All right, so GoBuster just finished and we've got shell.php pdf.php typical little name um, so let's go see what that is about pdf.php and it just says boom now we'll see if we got some command execution so we'll do cmd. All right, so we can use the command parameter and pass it a command to execute. So that's working. All right, so let's try and grab this reverse shell. So I like to go out to pin test monkey reverse shells and go to this cheat sheet right here and right at the top we've got a bash reverse shell so we can copy that come over here paste it in go ahead and change our ports whatever we want let's go 4444 and 10.6.95.1 that's our IP address start our netcat listener all right, everything's good. We should be able to execute this. And no reverse shell. 
All right, so two things. This is not just going to run this bash command. We have to specify it with the bash dash c to make sure it runs a bash command. And then we'll put our command in these single quotes. And then we need to URL and code. Our command. All right, hit enter, and we got our shell. So let's see who we are. ID, and we are WW Data. Nice. Right, so first thing I like to do when I Get a new shell, just kind of look around a little bit. And specifically in the home directory. So, got a user right here, latchlan. We got a user.txt flag, we'll go ahead and grab that. And then, so we got our files right here. So as we can see, we got bash history, bash logout, bash RC, cache, profile, bin, user.txt. Let's go ahead and check that bash history out. Okay, so this has a lot of information in it. Um, we got someone executed this cve.sh, this cve patch.sh. Um, I edited this cron job right here at Etsy cron D persistence and they echoed this command right here into the passwd file so this might be a password this is the way one two three so let's go ahead and check out this password for the latchlan user if you remember SSH was open so SSH latchlan at 10.10.7.226. Yes, this is the way one, two, three. Uh, oh, so we logged in and immediately got kicked off and it echoed note to us. So let's go look at why that happened. All right, so looking back at this file, we got a v etsy cron d persistence. So we can go check that out. Okay, guys, looking at this uh, persistence file, first thing we see is the path it calls to run these. So the first place it's gonna look is home latchlan bin followed by the bin directory, followed by the user bin directory. So it's got six cron jobs it's running, and they're all running every minute by user root. And this is our, gonna be our command, this little section right here. And so it starts off with calling the sleep function, and it's gonna sleep for one second, 11, 21, and so on. And so pretty much it's running every 10 seconds and it's gonna do a for loop and pretty much kill any terminal processes you start um, with the pkill command. So let's check out this pkill command, see where it's at. So pkill is in user bin pkill and as you can see with the path, it's the last place it's gonna look for pkill, so if we're could write to the home latchlan bin directory we could uh, pretty much have command execution with root so let's go check out that directory latchlan but we do not have write privileges on the bin directory with this user 
but we do have access to latch LAN through SSH, so we can probably um, exploit that. Okay, so let's set up a script to run as latch LAN that we can just copy in there and run it and grab a shell as root. Alright guys, uh, there's a lot of ways we could do this, but we're just going to do a reverse shell. So we can do echo, grab our reverse shell from pen test monkey, and we will do shebang, bin bash. Now we're going to do a new line with the backslash in, and we'll go ahead and paste our command in, whatever port we want, quad threes, my IP address, close that out, and we want to write to home, latch LAN, bin, and the name of the file, pkill. Alright, so... Let's copy that, copy, and we will SSH into LatchLAN, paste that in, enter, and chmod, okay, we got kicked out, alright, uh, let me pre-type this out. Set up a reverse shell, and it should be picking up. Oh, there we go. ID root. Let's go ahead and go to the home directory. And we got our root flag. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, give it a like, and maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks, bye.